about that time it's about that time let's go ladies and gentlemen hit that like button hit that subscribe button let's go premier league predictions time Iga is going to give you all his predictions that is the premier league winner the champions league winner the europa league winner the carabao cup winner the fa cup winner the relegation can uh, ca uh candidates and who's going to get relegated and who is going to be in the top eight top six top four whatever you want to call it and if you don't want to watch a spoiler I'm telling you right now, because this is a Premier League spoiler. It's not a prediction. I'm going to tell you exactly how it happens. And we're going to review it at the end of the season to see how it goes. But right now, make sure you guys also play along and let me know your Premier League winner, your Champions League winner, your FA Cup winner, your Carabao Cup winner, and what you guys think is going to happen with the relegation and, and, and everything else as we go. But let's get the show started, ladies and gentlemen. As you guys already know, Eagle Talks Football. I want at least 150 uh, uh, likes on this video, and let's get it started. Yes, 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 people. So first, I'm going to just get started with the Premier League winner. Who is going to win the Premier League? Is it going to be Arsenal or is it going to be Manchester City? Uh, I'm not going to lie to you guys. This one was the easy one for me. I was always going to pick. I was always going to pick Arsenal. Manchester City, I feel is it's just the easy pick. I just feel like it's the easy pick to pick Manchester City and just be like, you know what, Manchester City is going to win the league. I think it's an easy pick. But this season, I think Arsenal is going to actually do it. I think we're going to get over the line. I think Arsenal is going to win the league. Man City is going to finish second. And let me just give you guys the rest of my top eight as I'm at it. Because, of course, you guys know Arsenal is going to win it. And I think this year we're going to get over the line with the squad depth that we added, with the players that we've added, having Declan Rice, having Kai Havertz, having Timber, potentially bringing, uh, bringing in more players like a David Rea coming in. And, of course, look at Manchester City. They've had some turnover. With Gundogan leaving, of course, they're going to have maybe more outgoings. They haven't made too many signings. They still have Riyad Mahrez also left. They're, they're short on attacking options. So I do believe we're just going to tip Man City to it this season. And if I'm going to give you my top eight, I'm going to have Manchester City finishing second, of course. Close contenders to the title. The third place team, a lot of people have Liverpool in there. A lot of people have other teams in there. But I think Manchester United are still the third best team in the league once again this season. So I'm going to have Manchester United in there again. And then the final team, the final team that I'm going to have uh, in, in for this one is going to be, let me show you guys. Let me show you guys because I can share my screen and I can just show you guys who, who what I have in there. Let me show you right now. There you go. So that is my top eight. That is my top eight at this moment in time. Those are the teams that I've gone for for my top eight. I have Arsenal, Manchester United, Liverpool fourth. I think Liverpool are just going to edge uh, Newcastle this season because Newcastle have Champions League football and they're going to try to probably go for a domestic cup also. So I And then Chelsea. I think Chelsea are going to be a lot better this season, but I still have them sixth. I have Brighton finishing ahead of Tottenham, as I do feel like Brighton are just a little bit more solid uh, in, in attack and defense than, than Tottenham are. And Tottenham are still a little bit of a mess with Harry Kane and not knowing the future of your captain is kind of annoying. So it could, it could filter into the season and see Tottenham have a poor season. But I wouldn't be surprised if either Chelsea or Tottenham had a poor season once again. Um, I think Liverpool also... This is banking on the fact that they're going to get a DM. If they don't get a DM, this whole thing could change. And in a couple of weeks' time, you could see Liverpool swapping places with Chelsea. But I do believe Newcastle will finish just outside of the top four. But with the new uh, Champions League rules, they will still be in the Champions League. Now, moving on to relegation. We got to talk about relegation. Because I'm not going to do what everyone else does, where they predict um, the top eight, and then they start going, who's going to be 13th, 10th? That's guessing. Like, uh, my boy Mark Goldbridge was talking about it. And I was thinking to myself, why would I predict every single position? It's just guessing, educated guesses. So let's actually do relegation. Because relegation, I feel like you can actually somewhat put something tangible to who's going to get relegated and who's not going to get relegated. So I have some candidates for relegation and I'm going to break down who I think is going to get relegated. So my candidates for relegation are, of course, you have West Ham. Sorry, let me, you have West Ham, Bournemouth, Sheffield United, Luton Town, Fulham and Wolves. If I'm missing anybody like Crystal Palace, let me know. I personally think 
the first team I look at on this list and says it's going to go down right away, I think Luton's going to go down. I think Luton's going to go down right away, and I think they're going to be one of the teams that get relegated from these potential candidates. Then I look at the rest of the list and I say West Ham, they lost Declan Rice. They haven't made too many signings. They, they're going to need a lot of work to be done. Bournemouth, second season in the Premier League back, they, they might do well once again, but I think they're just going to stay outside of the, of the thing. Sheffield United and Burnley, of course, also teams that got promoted. I think they're both going to stay up. And I wouldn't be surprised if Wolves, with all the stuff going on at Wolverhampton Wonders, that they're the team that gets relegated. And with Fulham losing Mitrovic and not really improving the rest of the squad, I think Fulham could get relegated also. So my three relegation candidates are Luton Town, Fulham, and Wolves. Let me know who your relegation candidates are in the comment section right now. And if you agree with my relegation candidates at this moment in time, because I do think all three of those teams, uh, I think all three of those teams are the, my favorites to go down. And I would have it in that order. Wolves, Fulham, Luton. I think Luton is the team that finishes third from the bottom and Wolves is going to be the team that's bottom of the bottom. And at the, end of this, uh, at the end of the season, when I get it right, you guys are going to come back and be like, you know what, Egal, you were spot on that Wolves and Fulham got relegated and everyone uh, and Luton. But hey, it, once again, it's gonna. It, you could get a surprise. Last year, nobody expected Bournemouth to stay up. I know I didn't. So we're going to have to wait and see where that lies and what happens there with those teams and i felt like i didn't spend enough time on 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 i on the top on the top uh teams so when i when i talk about the rest of the cup competitions i can get into that so who is going to win the cup competitions usually the fa cup goes to either arsenal manchester united chelsea uh, one of us guys or Liverpool, you know what I mean? It usually goes to one of us. So one of one of the top eight is going to go for it again. I know when we start talking about trophies, Tottenham exit the room. So FA Cup, who's going to win the FA Cup? It's definitely not going to be Tottenham. I don't think it's going to be Newcastle or Brighton or Aston Villa or any of those guys because now some of those teams are in, in, in other cup competitions also. I do believe the team that wins the FA Cup is going to be the holders. Manchester City are going to win the FA Cup once again, and and they they might not win they might not win the 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 uh, league, but they probably are going to win the FA Cup still, in my opinion. So I'll give them the FA Cup. Um, when it comes to who's going to win the Champions League, this one's interesting. Who's going to win the Champions League? There is there is a lot of favorites floating around on who could. Put There's a lot of favorites floating around on who could potentially win. The Champions League. Let me show you guys what I mean. Because I, I was looking around and I see in the Champions League favorites and I was like, whoa, I think it could be interesting. It could be interesting to see if Manchester City could pull it off once again and win the Champions League. I don't really see any other clear favorites. So from the Champions League right now, the people who are the favorites, you have these teams that are currently in the Champions League. Man City, Bayern Munich, PSG, Real Madrid, Barcelona, Arsenal, Manchester United, Napoli, and Newcastle 20 to 1 odds. I know it's going to be a long shot for Newcastle, Napoli, Manchester United, Arsenal. I don't think Barcelona's good enough. It's really down to Bayern Munich, Real Madrid, and Man City for me. And from what we've seen from last year from Man City, and it also being at Wembley, I think Man City are going to win the Champions League once again this season. So I wouldn't be surprised if Man City do a domestic... Uh, uh, a, a double, which is the the Champions League and the FA Cup. They're going to, I think they're going to do a double this season and they're going to win those two. So yeah, that's my prediction for that. Now, who's going to win the Carabao Cup? I know you probably don't care too much about the Carabao Cup. I've seen people belittle the Carabao Cup to uh, uh, almost calling it a friendly, but I think last year, Newcastle, it meant the world to them that they were in the Carabao Cup final and they lost to Manchester United. I think this year, Newcastle actually gets over the line and they win the Carabao Cup. I know people are going to say they're going to take the Champions League more serious and they're going to be playing twice a week and they're not going to be able to compete for the cup competitions. But Newcastle just need to get a trophy on the board. They Until they win that first trophy, they're not going to feel like they're back as a, as, a, as a big club as they are. So I think this is the year where they get on the board. Newcastle win that Carabao Cup. And it, the only other candidates I could see going for the Carabao Cup seriously is probably Chelsea or Liverpool. But I still believe Newcastle are categorically still better than Chelsea at this moment in time, even though I have Newcastle finishing lower than them. In the, uh, I, I have Chelsea finishing just one spot lower than Newca uh, Newcastle anyways. So that is my prediction for the Carabao Cup. Let me know who you guys think is going to win the Carabao Cup. Uh, Europa League. 
Europa League, the favorites are pretty straightforward. It's Roma and Liverpool are the favorites. And I think we're kind of under we're kind of underestimating uh, the, the, the Europa League and league. It's very difficult. So I think Liverpool are going to do really well. But I do think I'm going to be different. I think everyone's going to be picking Liverpool. I'm going to be picking Roma to win the Europa League. I think you guys need to remember that Jose Mourinho is a European champion. He he was in the Conference League final. He was in the Europa League final last year. He lost it. He's going to want to win it this year. I think they're going to do it this year. I'm going to pick Roma to win the Europa League. Let me know who you guys think is going to win the Europa League. And once again, um, the favorites to win the other European competition, which is the Europa Conference League, is actually another Premier League team. After West Ham won it last year, people are now saying, guess what? It could be... It could be Aston Villa's year with Una Emery as the Europa League specialist. But I don't think Aston Villa are going to win the Europa Conference League. I think the Europa Conference League is going to go to the former Europa the first time Europa Conference League winner, which is Eintracht Frankfurt. Now, they got lucky that Juventus have exited the competition uh, after, after um, getting allowed by... I think it's some sort of punishment. So Juventus is not going to be in the competition, but I trick Frankfurt, Lille. There's a couple of tough teams for Aston Villa. Let's see what happens. But I do think Aston Villa are not going to win it. And I think it's going to be Frankfurt. But I do think Aston Villa are going to get far and they're going to have a really good season. So for me, my European and cup competition winners is Man City to win the FA Cup. Uh, the Newcastle, uh, Newcastle, to win the, uh, Newcastle to win the Carabao Cup, right? And then Liverpool, uh, not Liverpool, but Roma to win the Europa League and I track Frankfurt to win the Conference League. So let me know what you guys think about all my predictions as I'll go through them once again. Uh, my, my Premier League, uh, my Champions League winner is Man City. Premier League winner is Arsenal. Top eight is right there. As you can see, my relegation candidate and my relegation uh, uh, team is right there. The three teams to get relegated. And there you go with the FA Cup, Man City, Newcastle for the Carabao Cup, Europa League, Roma, and Conference League. I track Frankfurt. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button on your way out. Let's get this stream past at least let's get this past at least 120 likes if you guys can do that. And yeah, we're out of here, people. Hopefully you enjoyed this stream. And you know what? There's more to come. I'm gonna be doing a stream with Hussam and hopefully a couple more of the guys, Hussam Allen and somebody else tomorrow at around I don't, I don't know, eight o'clock. So look out for that one. And yeah, I bid you guys adieu. Hopefully you enjoyed this stream and I'm out of here, people. Peace.